Today we're going over budget planners. So I picked out three random budget planners from Amazon and I thought we could check them out together. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do unboxings on Saturdays. So I thought we could talk about budget planners because I'm always talking about creating planners with a purpose and I know that it is a very niche audience, but that niche audience, anyone who searches for budget planner is like primed and ready to buy a budget planner. You don't really have to talk them into it. You don't have to convince them that they need it. They want it. They came out searching for you. So these three planners were all from Amazon. They came next day delivery. They were all prime. The first one is the Go Girl budget planner. And I really just picked it out because it had a cute cover and I like the pink color. This was only $14.99. The second one is the Clever Fox and I chose that same reason. Had a cute cover, I like the color. And this one was $19.99. And the third one is the Legend Budget Planner and this one was $19.99. Same thing, it had a pretty cover with some uh, copper foiling on the front. So let's just go ahead, take a look inside and see what you think. All right, budget planners. So we have the Legend, we have the Clever Fox, and we have the Go Girl. And they're all about the same width. And I'm just gonna guess, the reason I did all of them together is I'm gonna guess there's nothing special about any of them and they're all exactly the same. Uh, but in case you were wondering what's inside, I wanted to get them so we could peek, take a peek. Oh my gosh, I cannot get this off. What is wrong with this? This happened to the last Legend planner. It was just like static cling. Manif the legend planner has manifested the plastics to stay on forever. All right, so let's take a look at this. So you get an elastic band and then you have this wrap around over here and you have a little pen holder and you have a how to use your legend budget planner. So steps one, two, three, four, and five. And this is a hard sort of cardboard. It's not flexible in case you're wondering. Um, legend planner book, budget book, my life financial plan, my age, career and business, active income, uh, assets, passive income, and then my financial goals, and then your mind map, your savings tracker, amount needed. Okay, so this is a savings tracker for like, I want to go on a cruise, I want to buy a house, I want to buy a Ferrari, whatever it is. Um, and then what date you need to I guess, put a deposit in and how much you cumulatively saved as you go through. So hopefully you can save this in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 deposits. So all goals can be made in 14 deposits. Then you have a debt tracker, does the opposite. Then you have opening balance, most important goals this month. Uh, you have an undated monthly, your income, your savings, your monthly budget. And then you have expense trackers. I just find these expense trackers interesting because I feel like it would be so much easier to track this using Mint or another tool like that. But it looks like it just rinse and repeats and you get the same thing every month until you get to the very end when you start talking about Christmas, which is funny. I don't know if anyone knows this. I'm a minimalist. I 100% don't buy Christmas gifts for anybody, um, even my family, which they, when I first did that, they were like, what? <laughs> but I was like, I cannot afford to give gifts. And I was in debt repayment. And then once I stopped, I was like, I don't see a reason to just keep buying frivolous gifts. So, um, all right. So over here, what do we have? Uh, the monthly budget review. So I did not review that page. So your income, your total, your balance, total savings. Did I achieve my goals or not? Did I meet my budget? Um, so this is a new way to look at a month. It's just a financial perspective. And this is Christmas gifts and how much you want to budget and what you actually paid. Um, regular bill tracker, summary of the year, monthly expense summary, and that's it. Oh, and you get some stickers. You get some finance stickers and you get a thank you and please leave us a review. Oh wait, I think this might be a coupon. I cannot get it out. Why can't I never get things separated from this planner? <laughs> okay, no, nope, just says no hassle refund. So that's it. And you got a pencil holder, you got a teal bookmark, you have some nice rose gold on the front. So let's take a look at our next one, which is the Clever Fox. 
So this is the Clever Fox budget planner. And Clever Fox usually has really cute icons inside of their planners. I shouldn't say usually. I've only looked at one, but that one had really cute icons. Uh, that was their goal planner or something like that. Uh, Clever budget. So this has a nice little wraparound. And then inside over here, we have the same thing. How to use this. Oh my gosh, it's like it's the same people. Okay, uh, financial goals, strategy and tactics, savings and debt tracker, monthly budget review, and end of year. So this one doesn't have anything for the holidays. Um, my financial goals, my mind map, my strategy, my tactics, savings tracker. Wow, this is huge and just unesthetically attractive the way this is made. It looks like it's an exact replica of that one we just looked at, the, the Legends. Uh, so you have your monthly budget, your expense tracker, monthly budget review, um, and here we go. This month's goals, checklist, income, savings, uh, undated five-week monthly. Very, very tiny. I don't even know if you can read this. Uh, monthly budget. So they are trying to guess some categories for you here. The other one did not. Um, and then expense tracker. And again, I think this just rinse and repeats every month. It does. So this must be 12 months and then you're done. You get some blank pages at the end. Do they have a monthly review? Oh no, they have a, oh, they do have a Christmas budget. Okay, so you get a monthly budget review and you can go over your wins. Did you not meet your budget? Did you achieve your goals? And then over here, we have summary of the year, month income savings, housing, food, health, transportation, personal entertainment. And we get some stickers. I love stickers. These, these might be the same ones. They look very similar, um, but they're pretty. I like, I like finance stickers. You know who would really love this? It's my friend Kirsten. She loves tracking finances and tracking her money, so. I bet she would love those stickers. All right, uh, you get the nice matching elastic band. Um, oh, look at that. It looks like there's a stain on it. There's a stain here too. This might be a used, used budget planner <laughs> from someone else. Okay, we have one budget planner left. It is the Go Girl Budget Planner. So let's check this out. See what you got inside. Can I get this off? Yes, I can. Okay, we have a nice little wraparound over here for the Go Girl Budget Planner. Wraparounds are always a great idea. They just make everything look prettier, especially when you get these hard bound ones. Um, and how to use this budget planner. Again, I think these are all the same people. Let's look at the other one. Whoops. How to use this budget planner from the other ones. Very similar. Or maybe they're all copying each other. I don't know. I really think it's just the same company over and over again, just making all of these. How to use this. Okay. So the Go Girl um, has that hard cover. It doesn't, it's not flexible. This is much smaller. Is it much smaller? Yeah, it is much smaller than the other ones. Um, but I guess if you're a girl, that would then easily fit in your purse. Your financial goals, your strategy, savings tracker, debt tracker. So again, it's like a exact replica of the other one okay so we have month and year monthly budget this one didn't do a lot of time on your goals or anything um and then expense tracker expense tracker monthly budget review where oh, this is really hard to read where did i have the most trouble what could i improve this month what goals can i set for the next month and then you get just a plain page and then month and year so i guess this would be february of 2020 say and your goals, upcoming purchases, upcoming bills, income, savings, monthly budget, budgeted actual difference. So it looks like a, just a rinse and repeat for the whole year. Yep. And that's it. So no Christmassy things here, no annual. Oh, wait, there is. Oh, look, it knew I was talking about it. Uh, so we have your Christmas budget, Christmas gifts, Christmas spending, summary of the year. And that's it. So this is like probably the most bare bones one. And there are some stickers in the back. Not as pretty as the other stickers. And you get a purple and pink ribbon. And it looks like the same. I swear these. Maybe it's all the same company. Uh, warranty card. No hassle refund. Thank you for your purchase. Yeah, I think it's probably a good strategy. Just make the same planner slightly different on each. And just rebrand the front. So... Yeah, so that's it.
What did you think? I think these were all exactly the same. <laughs> they were designed pretty much by the same person or one person made one and then they all copied each other, which, you know, that happens a lot with some of these types of planners. So nothing really special, right, about these planners. Um, I do think that budget planners are important, even though there are a lot of online tools. I think identity theft and fraud is a huge issue and not everybody feels comfortable putting all of their bank account information into a tool like Mint or something else, even though they're very reputable, even the most reputable places get broken into all the time. So some people are just better with old school. And honestly, even if you do like using Mint, sometimes it is just a little bit more conscientious to track everything in a paper uh, based system where you're writing it down and it maybe stops you from spending so much and helps you stay more in touch with your goals. So. Again, I don't think you should feel discouraged about creating a budget planner because there are so many online tools out there. I think it's still a great opportunity um, to create any of these planners. And honestly, because these were so plain Jane, kind of ugly looking, I think it's a great opportunity to go and create something really pretty that people are excited to use. Um, I wouldn't go too crazy because I think, you know, obviously if you're doing a budget planner, maybe you're on a budget so you might not want to spend a lot on a budget planner that might be a little counterintuitive uh so yeah so that's what i think about the budget planners all right if you would like to create your own planner make sure to sign up for my free five-day course planner 101 i will leave a link to that below and i hope everyone's having a fabulous day and i'll talk to you guys on monday bye